Hi guys, welcome back to UG Update. So guys, on this video, let's talk about the Lost and Love series, guys. And we're talking about a very interesting episode that's about to go down in the Lost and Love series. Guys, it's quite an interesting episode, so please don't get anywhere with the video to the very end to find out what is about to go down in our favorite Star Life series, Lost in Love. But before I continue to the video, lovelies, please don't forget, guys, that this is still UG Update. Don't forget guys that this is still UG Updates. In case if you are yet to subscribe to UG Updates, please click on the subscription button and subscribe. Don't also forget guys to give this video a thumbs up. Alright lovelies, let's dive straight into the video. Guys, the episode starts with Trevor takes the wedding card samples to Ishan's room. Then Ishan gets out of shower and gets romantic seeing her. He asks if she got the wedding cards. What is the theme? Then she says towel. He should go and get ready first and wait for him. He gets ready in a blazer and naughtily pulls her in. Feel shy and gets his kerchief and cuff buttons. The romantic knock job continues. Then he notices his name tattooed on her neck and asks what if he had not agreed to marry her. Then she says she would have waited for him the whole life. He emotionally hugs and thanks her. He then walks towards his car for an intensity business trip and says he would have taken her along if she didn't have lectures to attend. Shaka with Azmita and Shika walks to him and seeks him off and sees him off. Then he drives his car away. Then Shaka tells Riva that she has called the Sari vendor home to select Saris. And another sense, Savi searches for Nina in the whole house to serve him Modax and doesn't find him there. She informs the family and they all search for him. Nina reaches the bus stand behind a man with gift boards and alleges him of troubling his granddaughter, Savi, to marry him and send her bridal gifts. The man refuses his allegations, but Nina tears his gift wrap and finds a pressure cooker instead. The people around laugh on him and then the man says he had got a gift for his mother but this old man spoils it. He humiliates Nina and leaves. Then Nina bombs on a man who asks him to walk carefully and asks where he wants to go. Nina hears the bus conductor shouting ranted to Nakpo and gets into the Nakpo bus. His whole family searches for him all around the area and gets tense not finding him. While checking Saris, Shika selects a Sari for herself then Shoka yells at her for selecting a Sari for herself first and not letting the would-be bride River select Saris. Chika apologizes to her, then River says this sari looks pretty on Chika, so she can keep it. She asks Chaka to select her brother Saris, then Chaka asks if she will give her respect similarly even after marriage. River says Ishan respects her immensely and hence even she will respect her. So Chaka says she shouldn't work after marriage and concentrate on her family. But River says agrees and says nothing is important to her than Ishan. She gives her a smartwatch and says it will measure her health and alert her beforehand. So Anvi says River is following a doctor-in-law's duty even before marriage. Chaka then feels immensely happy. While Savi continues to search for Ninad and finds a man's watch whom Ninad ran behind. So she thinks Ninad is somewhere around. Guys, it's quite an interesting episode, guys, coming up in the Lost and Love series. I wouldn't want to say much, guys, so I would like you to drop what you think about this River and Ishan's marriage preparation. Guys, please drop what you think on the comment section. And as you do that, please don't forget that this is still UG Updates. In case if you are yet to subscribe to UG Updates, please click on the subscription button and subscribe. Don't also forget, guys, to give this video a thumbs up. Alright lovelies, that'll be a wrap. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on my next video.